Proteus VSM is a unique product, including both a system-level simulator and a comprehensive debugging environment for your embedded designs. To start a new VSM project, click the New Project button on the home screen to launch the wizard. On the first screen, enter your project name and type. The second screen allows you to apply a template to your schematic if required. For this project, no PCB is required, so the wizard can be left at the default of no PCB layout. Selecting Create Firmware Project will activate the drop-down boxes and allow you to specify the microcontroller and compiler you are going to use. If the compiler we are going to use is not listed in the drop-down box, clicking the Compilers button will open a dialog of all compilers compatible with Proteus. From here we'll be presented with the options to download or visit the relevant website of our desired compiler. Once installed, the Check, Check All buttons will rescan the system for the compiler and configure it for use with Proteus. Next we can create a skeleton program by selecting the Quick Start Files option. Finally, review our options and click Finish to start our project. We'll start as simple as possible and light an LED. Click on Pick Devices and select an LED and resistor. These can be found easily by typing descriptions into the keyword search box. We can then double click on them to add them to the parts bin for us. Left click on the device to start placement. Use the plus and minus keys to rotate as required and left click again to complete placement. Place a ground terminal and wire up the devices to the MCU. To adjust the resistor value, right click on the resistor and select Edit Properties. Set the resistance to 470 ohms and change model type to digital. Now we need to write the controlling firmware to light the LED. Proteus allows us to type our code directly into the project and will automatically associate the code file with the MCU for simulation purposes. When ready, go to the Build menu on the toolbar and select Build Project. The output window at the bottom will display the build progress and tell us when our code has been compiled. Using the Play button at the bottom of the screen, we can run our simulation and check that it is working. Likewise, use the Stop button to end the simulation. To make things a little more interesting, we can expand the design to contain a bank of LEDs and add a switch to enable or disable their use. We could also write a few more lines of code to set up an interrupt driven program for flashing the LEDs in sequence. Following any changes in our code, we can compile in the same way and then press play. When running the resulting simulation, controls such as the switch are interactive, allowing us to fully access the project design. 